What you guys got another ransomware removal video here for you now before you say I know I said I wasn't going to make any more ransomware removal videos but there is a, a couple of tutorials about I've seen saying go into safe mode with networking for this one and you can't because it just reboots the system so I just wanted to make this video just to show people that you can't go in there and to use Kaspersky Rescue CD just to help people that have got it now there has been a couple of YouTube members of mine that have asked me to make a video on this one so I thought I'd quickly do it it's the same pretty much as uh, some of the other ones uh, just different file names uh, but I'll show you exactly how to remove it and what they're trying to do is force you to pay for this so you don't want to be paying this at all they're asking you to put your key code in here and pay for it and then eventually you'll be conned out of your money so don't ever pay for these types of things okay now what you want to do is download Kaspersky Rescue CD uh, from their website for free on another computer. Now if you haven't got another computer then you're going to be pretty much in trouble unless you can get into safe mode with command prompt. So let me just show you the actual download. So this is Kaspersky Rescue CD uh, website here and I will put the link in the description. You just need to come over to this one here and download it. It's about 280 megabytes in size and just download that and then you'd need to burn that to a CD okay it's an ISO image so you need to burn that now if you don't know how to burn an ISO image then you maybe should be seeking help from a professional uh, to remove it okay so let's uh, reboot the system to our Kaspersky Rescue CD but first I'm going to show you that you can't get into safe mobile networking So here we are at advanced boot options. I'm going to try safe mobile networking. And as soon as it loads up, it will just shut down. And that's what these new ones are doing. They're just shutting the PC down and restarting. So it tries to load up. And it logs off. That's exactly what it does. Now sometimes it does that with uh, safe mobile command prompts as well. So what we're going to do is ignore this one. Uh, because you can't get on the internet from here anyway and uh, it may be a bit more difficult to remove if you don't know what you're doing so I want to show you more an easier way of doing that but you can remove it from here if it will lay to boot to there okay and uh, manually remove that from the system but I'm going to reboot into Kaspersky Rescue CD okay so we're in Kaspersky Rescue CD I'm going to push enter and then select my language push one and then enter the uh, rescue disk graphic mode just let this load in okay just push continue here if you get this uh, message box popping up Okay, so these are in the standard place like the other ones are. I'm not going to bother with the scanner right now. But basically they're in the, in the standard place. I'll show you where they are. Um, so what we want to do here is go to users. And then the account that's infected. App data. And in the usual suspects you can see them here. Skype.dat and Skype.ini. They're the files there. You can delete these now and that will be that. So let me just drop that down there and try Windows Unlocker first. So to get to Windows Unlocker you need to come down to this uh, bottom left hand corner icon here. Click on Terminal and then type Windows Unlocker. All one word, no spaces, just like that and push Enter. It will ask you do you want to unlock Windows? We want to say one for yes push enter and it does a couple of little scans and tries to remove any infection there you can see it has found uh, skype.dat 
in the roaming folder if I pull this open you'll see that there you can see it has found that file so let me just push zero to exit out of this okay so if we go back here into the roaming folder So I'm going to try to, I'm just going to remove these. Now this will be removed on reboot, but I'm going to remove these manually myself in the roaming folder. And you can check out local and then check out the actual temp folder here. And you will find loads of stuff inside here, okay? And these are, all these files are all the actual uh, ransomware files that it uses, okay? So we're just going to go all the way up. I'm just going to not delete that one there and then push delete. It'll delete all those. Okay. And what I want to do here now is open up the registry editor. Come down to uh, Windows. 7 Ultimate or whatever yours will be. I'm going to come down to the local machine here, software, Microsoft, I'm going to come down to Windows current version, just check this run out there as you can see. I'm also going to check out WinNT. Just check that Win logon. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. So, one more thing I want to do I'm going to go back, I'm going to go down to Users, and then the account that's infected. Same thing, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version. Just check the run area here and I can see something inside the run area that I'm going to remove. That's an infection. You can see these files here. These are probably from another time, but I'm just going to remove these from there, okay? Okay, so once we've done that, we can close that off. Close this off and reboot the system. So I'm going to come down here and restart and take the CD out of the drive now. Let this close down and restart. So I'm just going to load up Windows now. And hopefully that will be the end of that. Pretty straightforward, very easy to do. So what you want to do there now is just run Malwarebytes and also Hitman Pro. If it's only this ransom that's on the system, pretty much there's only going to be little remnants left behind. So what you want to do now is run Malwarebytes and you can get that for free and you want to just come to the browser here type in Malwarebytes and then download the free version like so and then just install that And close that off now just install this and there should be nothing left on the system but a couple of little remnants in FBI maybe now you can use the pro version as a trial if you wish let it update and then perform a quick scan and you should be back up and running in no time at all. 
So that's the scan now nearly finished. As you can see, that's come up clean. And you can run Hitman Pro and some others if you wish, but pretty much that ransomware is pretty much done and dusted. Okay, so I know these are a little bit boring. I just wanted to cover this one because it was asked to do it. Uh, but there you go. That's ba basically how you remove that new ransomware. It's the same really, but just a different image. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brighttechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button. And show support by rating and favoriting all my videos. And I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So have a great weekend guys, and I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.